Aswood Ghidorah, Black Power. Now I've come to terms with the fact that our people have a very low cognition of political science. So this message is for the whole community, more especially in the case the fly by night, hashtagging revolutionaries that are overwhelmed by the fact that they made it home safe and now they're commissioning everybody to go out there in disorganized fashion. Let me talk to you. It'd be irresponsible. We got to talk about responsibility, the ability to respond. And I know what people are going to say is, why are you always got to bring up money when we're talking about the revolution? That's the first thing they're going to say. And I'm going to tell you that the revolution has to be funded. Because when we got to pull our funds together to get that vehicle so we could deploy at the site where we need to mobilize, then everybody's short on change. The revolution has to be funded. And what's prerequisite to the funding of the revolution is ensuring the revolution. So, members of our new covenant SARS body politic understand the expedience of being insured. You insure your car. Why won't you insure the livelihood of your family? As we put ourselves in harm's way when we go protest and it may escalate to riots. You handicap your family when you go out there with no game plan and possibly get killed or hospitalized. And many of you are relied upon to add value to your family when it comes to paying rent, paying for gas, paying for utilities. You have to think smarter. That's why you need to take our classes for political action. Let me talk to you. If you were to get a whole life insurance policy, one that you could borrow against, because when we do have insurance policies, they're normally death insurance policies. I'm talking about life insurance policies, policies you could benefit from while you're in this existence. The right insurance policy, for very little on a month-to-month -month basis, will ensure that if you are admitted into a hospital from that day forward, you get in or around $5,000 every day. Should you be admitted into the hospital, let's say you got bopped, up, bopped over your head because the white man hit you in the head, whatever the reason is, $5,000 a day. So you ain't got to worry about the bills that you lack in the pay. It'd be a come up damn near. The risk versus reward, of course, is horrible. Because you're getting stitches or whatever the case is. But at least you don't have two problems accumulating. Resources and your health. Here's another thing. Imagine you should die. Then what? Who takes care of your children? Who takes care of your significant other? You see, what I want to bring to your attention is when the revolution is insured, because we're talking about political science and strategy. If everybody that was insured, let's say a hundred of us gets hurt and a hundred of us have an insurance policy of this type. If a hundred of us end up being hospitalized, that'd be a hundred times 5,000. That'd be half a million dollars. The oppressor would have to consider the amount of cash that would have to come out because of his inability to refrain from physically encroaching us or perpetrating acts of racial animus. Let's up the ante though. Let's say a hundred of us get murdered. At the hands of the would-be oppressor. At the hands of vicious political results called police brutality. Let's say a hundred of us was murdered. 
they would have to cash you out. That your family, that is, a hundred million dollars. The revolution needs to be insured. Because if a hundred of us are insured properly, they would have to say to themselves, damn, are we willing to give up a hundred million dollars? Are we willing to give up a hundred million dollars for a hundred every hundred people? Uh let's get the disorganized brothers and sisters over there because these ones gonna cost us one tenth of a billion dollars if we kill them. You think that's not gonna put shit on pause? Between the people getting paid five thousand dollars every single day, every day, if a hundred of us got admitted into the hospital. That's half a million dollars every single day we're in there. We might have to stay in there for two, three damn weeks. A half a million dollars times 21 days. And even worse, we might have more than 100 fatalities. 100 fatalities. It's 100 million per 100. Hope you understand where I'm coming from. That's one tenth of a billion dollars. That's a lot of money to be shelling out in the name of I hate black people. They have to come up with a new strategy. I need you guys to consider these things. Folks, if you are in your house, if you are food shopping, if you are watching TV, come out the house. Come out the house. So when we talking about the front lines, I don't see the line in the front. Where the hell you think they get the term from? When we organize, you'll see. When you organize, you make sure you bring your civil rights leaders out there. You make sure you have attorneys out there. We had attorney Malik Zul Shabazz. He helped with the organizing tremendously, actually. Attorney Malik Zul Shabazz, representing black lawyers for justice. You put attorneys out there on the front line with you so they know we got legal support on deck immediately, in real time. It makes them second guess the next action they will take. It makes them think twice. It makes them reluctant. So on your front line, you have different organizations that agreed to come together to mobilize the masses. And you have an agenda. You have checkpoints for when you will stop, when you will get your build on. And you have your security already at checkpoints to debrief you on what the climate looks like per checkpoint. You have your security like you see our security. When we go out and we protest, our security takes heed. Of the imaginary lines that exist around our parameter. Whether it's on the sides, whether it's on back of us. And everyone is contained inside. And if you choose to step outside of that containment. Then we can recognize you for who and what you are. Because why are you out there? Why are we over here? Because if my brothers and I. Decide we're going to go somewhere together as a group of 10 and we end up being a group of 15. We undoubtedly need to question who's these other five people. When you are organizing, you can't put yourself in a precarious position where you'll be held accountable for the actions of covert operatives that realize you have organized in disorganized fashion. And now anything they do, they light some stuff on fire, they break a glass, it's on everybody. They hurt somebody, it's on everybody. Now you can't contain it all. What we want to do is lower the probability of us being manipulated. So you contain the group of people for the march. And if you go out to support the march from the people that's organizing, you don't go out as an individual, you go in a party of three. In New Covenant, we say 10T, 4E. 10 toes down, 4 eyes on. For every one person, two people got to be looking at them. And one person got to do a video recording before they leave. What is your intention when you get there? 
When you get there, we're here, and this is what the climate is. And this is our plan. When we organize, we say, depending on the route, we may want to deploy into the residential areas and tell people, come out to follow us en route to our next section where we will stop and we will talk and we will build and we will organize to make sure we can keep this thing continual. You have to have a plan of action, brothers and sisters. You can't just be out here doing anything because you're just angry. Don't let nobody fool you. That is not the approach. Aswut Gador, Black Power, and Iluvu, Perpetual Success. We want a nation of our own. We deployed our members from New Covenant Special Defense Team into the...